Oh, 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 city show. Champagne sloppy. Mm -mm -mm. This is cray cray. This is what happens when you make a bad situation worsen. You force the people to make a reaction towards you. When you can't handle your L, it's like a fire that you're trying to control using grease instead of water. When you try to, instead of put out a fire, you help intensify it. Mm -mm -mm. It's weird. You basically help keep Schoolboy Q from performing. The guy who's never dissed you, you keep him from performing in the said club and then a white dj comes out from florida goes out to do a show in said club and embarrass you like that but well, schoolboy q had no intentions of embarrassing you drop the intro hi i'm carcina Oh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. No one knows Marcino and none of these. There's so much going on in the world. And I'm just giving my two cents on it. Go in and do a raid at someone's house, but you don't have an arrest warrant for them. Like the video just said, like, share, subscribe, let a friend know <laughs> everything you see down in the banner, right? Because this is crazy. Oh, yeah, my cash app is Carcino, too. It says it like right there. Cash app Carcino. I can scoot over a little bit. Yeah, right there. That's for people who try to super chat and can't and don't want to use super chat. Oh, blame me. But <laughs> the cash app is Carcino if you want to donate and support to the page. We appreciate y'all. Uh, yeah, let's get back to said story. Drake got completely embarrassed because a DJ comes to the town. And this, is, this DJ used to DJ for... Extension, uh, Triple X, he used to be his DJ. And you know the history he has with Drake. They had no idea this was going to happen. DJ Scheme came there and basically schemed him. Yeah, the history venue um, in Toronto, Canada, where Schoolboy Q was supposed to perform a sold out set. DJ Scheme shows up there and puts on a performance of a lifetime and embarrassed this guy because Drake made it to the, be that situation. As you see right here, this is this DJ scheme right here. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Look at that. So DJ scheme comes in there. 
and basically shuts down the house. Got everybody rocking out to the song. Got all of these people cheering and celebrating and making fun of you with this record. In your city. Now I know you're going to try to make it where DJ Scheme never comes back to this venue again. But the damage is done. And Schoolboy Q laughed when he saw it on his uh, social media page. He laughed. And he had every right to laugh. Because you made this a situation it didn't have to be. You keep taking the football and trying to run with it before you need to. You're trying to create, trying to protect the situation when it's not going to be a situation. You got to let it be first. If Schoolboy Q done something that would require you to do something, then you act. You keep making these the first step thinking that's going to make you look cool and it's only making situations worse because you're going to create a new situation somewhere else. A lot of people didn't like what you did with Schoolboy Q. You thought it was going to make you look good. It made you look stupid. And to make situations worse, this is your town. This is the first DJ to really kick it off. Let's see. Damn, you can tell. Like, of course, it's the hometown. So, of course. <laughs> you ain't lying. Like, damn, everybody's rocking out. Like, look, they wanted to celebrate the song, too. It would have went, came and went had you not gotten involved. By you trying to deny people who pay their money for something, something that they wanted to see really bad, you're going to make them want it more. You see, what white people used to do with their daughters and trying to hide them away from black folks and say it, You'll get a disease and run them off on you. They try to keep them white girls away from black folk. It made the white girls want the black folks more. You notice most of those white girls that be with them black men, they have the most racist family you probably have ever seen in existence. They'll be like, I'm defying you, dad. <laughs> and they run and, and do those type of acts. Now you see why. Now you see how this turns into a situation such as that. Drake continuously makes a situation worse. Instead of going away, he wants everybody to keep talking about it. So, okay, if this is what you want, then this is what you're going to receive. What what I do is try to find a way to um, get people's attention. 
uh, get them to the level where they can understand things for themselves or we're basically collaborating on said idea. Now, that DJ has definitely went above and beyond and did some things that's probably going to damage him. But then again, he probably said, well, if he does, I'm just going to exploit that to the fullest. So that's all understandable when it comes to me. When somebody moves in that kind of way, I understand it. You're not going to dictate to me what I need to do, how I need to do it. I'm not going. I don't want to hear it. You feel me? They don't want to be dictated to. I wouldn't want to be dictated to. Many of us who enter into this world, we do so by moving to our own beat. You know, we normally keep ourselves balanced by moving with a certain energy that doesn't have anything to do with nothing you see before you. We move by the beat of our own energy. We don't let other people's actions really influence us. Now, when you sit around and look at Drake and you look at where he's been, how he's been moving, you have to ask yourself a couple of questions. Why? You know, it does not make sense. You don't need these situations. You don't need these problems. You don't need to be the one that's um, being dictated to. There are a lot of uh, yeah. There's a lot of things that uh, people are trying to send me stuff right now, saying this is unbelievable. There are a lot of situations where things get out of control and people need to Yeah, but uh, let me. I just got said something that really turned my head around. Now, 
here it is. We have DJ Scheme right here. And DJ Scheme, as you can see, has X up there and Schoolboy Q and a couple other people he DJs for. And he still is repping. Repping for X. Now, Juice World. And everybody is sitting here losing it. So putting that together, man, just made, of course, everybody. Look at this. Sometimes you just got to pop out and show. And look at this scheme. Everybody keeps repeating this. The first. To play not like us in Toronto, you literally made history at history. All these new people started following him. He did a rest in peace to X at the show. You know. Wow. You finally got a chance in Toronto. If you was at history last night to celebrate the song you wanted to. And a clown dude <laughs> from your city tried to keep you guys from celebrating and being out there and letting loose. <laughs> Never again. Never again will you be denied. Well, you probably will be denied now. Unbelievable. Wow. That's impactful. Just think about what this did. White DJ had to come in there and get this done. Nobody else could get this popping like this. One point six million. One point six million watch this. Let me retweet it, repost it, keep it up on my page. Great job, sir. Hey, there's my comment. <laughs> You're a demon. At Drake's venue is nuts. It's time. I think that line, I get more love from the city you from was not for Doc. Because ain't no way. <laughs> Ready for a night of epic music? Coldplay is coming to New York there. Ooh, that didn't go well. Hope he stays safe. Another bars against 
again on Aubrey's head, another L. Get more love in the city that you from. <laughs> Ooh, goodness. I don't think he was talking to Kate Dodd on that either. Drake lyrics are aging horribly in real time. This is some dirty work. Drake gonna be so mad. <laughs> Scheme always been a lame and always been a clout chase. Drake definitely have suicidal thoughts because of this song. What if Drake is the one who requested it to be played? Drake, how do you respond, man? With sold out stadium shows. <laughs> okay, this is something else and somebody trying to promote something. Drake has become meek after back to back. Buddy is holding this L. X would be smiling right now. Yeah, so even the white people are telling Drake they're not like us. <laughs> Anything for clout nowadays. Long live X. You ain't have to do this. Any better songs? That song is the biggest hype of the century. It's pretty much propaganda. Trying to get close to Drake. People know <laughs> they can get more popularity if they play that one instead of Drake's song. I don't even think that people that's playing it like it. Yeah, okay. Just remember to repost it. I'm going to leave this just here. <laughs> Oh, God, what a loser. Drake right now. <laughs> the weird for skiing. Yeah, a lot of people are just checking up. I was in that B. <laughs> You can feel the city have been has been deprived of this record. They just want to have fun. Exactly. You can feel that because Drake created that atmosphere. He created that atmosphere that made people go crazy for this record. They wanted to hear it more and more the more you restricted it from them. So the more you try to withhold something from somebody, people don't like to be told what they can and cannot do. Nobody likes to hear that. And for Drake, it's just another L on your resume. Because you can't handle losing. You can't handle defeat. And because you don't know how to handle things as a man, this is going to make you look bad, bruh. You have looked bad this entire battle. I have been telling you. Dude, you trying to keep this going. You're not 50 Cent. You're not 50 Cent, bro. Like, what are you doing? Some of the stuff you've been doing has been so much clown-ish. Everybody looking at you like you a goofy. You think it's funny or something like, oh, they're going to be trying to figure out what my message is. And my No one cares about your cryptic messages. People would have moved on by now. People want to move on. You keep it going with all this goofy stuff you do. It doesn't make any sense. It's completely unnecessary. No one cares. Man, there's so many people that are calling for people's attention, that's moving in the direction of somebody else's attention. They want to be seen and seen in so many different ways 
in different lights. That's just what it is, man. People want to be seen and heard and they will do any and everything they can to be seen and heard. Nothing new here. When you look at all the other people that's in the game, that's doing this, that's putting stuff together. You start looking at Drake, right? And you start putting it together and you start seeing yourself. And he's going back to this, you know, to his state of depression. And his state of depression, all of this is going to put him in because he's the laughing stock of his own city. You'll be looking like this guy. You know, that's going to be the old Drake. You know, before he became BBL Drizzy. This is what his life was like on the road, eating hot wings and drinking sodas. That's going to be Drake again, you know, and, and you going right back to this body. That's going to be your future, Drake. That's what this is sending you right back to. Three plates of 25 apiece. 75 wing special with an orange soda. Two orange sodas. So you ain't got to get up and get another one. You locked and loaded. Ready to go. You will not be denied again. BBL Drizzy. Mm, mm, mm. Now, everybody gonna say that's harsh. It's not harsh at all. What's harsh about it? Mm. Well, I don't have to keep this going. For me, it's already been done. The damage has been done. So, well, in our estimation and everything that's been happening, it has been a, um, a growing... Yeah, it's been like a growing headache for most of us. And, and like people are ready to move on to other stuff and they can't get there because, you know, you got a clown that don't want to sit down. He wants to stay relevant no matter if it's even abuse. He wants it. So now you got it. But this don't make you look good. Your next album is not going to do... Believe me, there's a lot of people turned off on Drake. And I mean, it's not just us. It's just like they don't even care about this dude.
Well, when people are doing something like they're moving by their own vibes, they're not worried about all the other nonsense that they hear and other distractions that's going on. You know, um, like I keep telling you, it's so much garbage that's been going on. Um, Let me see something here. Drake, you're going to keep playing games. And to your reality, change dramatically. And this is going to be your new reality. You're going to be in a boxing ring doing fights in Toronto 10 years from now. This is your future, Dre. There you go. That's Drake 10 years from now. Yeah, doing that old, look at him, doing that old groove. Yeah, go ahead, Drizzy, get it in, Drizzy. Yeah, there you go. You're going to have them people, them old Drake heads, remembering those old jams. Hotline bling. <laughs> yeah. Look at him, look at Drizzy, getting it in, baby. Look at him, he's feeling the vibe. That's you 10 years from now. So I just took you to the future. That's where you were headed. That's where you're going to end up. You already on the express train there, brother. Already on that train. And to make it even worse, so now this DJ is playing Drake on the radio in LA. And somebody from LA calls in. Listen to this. So we playing Drake, right? Look at this call I just got. Check this out. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Man, I'm trying to figure out how you playing a white boy to stick the white boy on a nigga in Canada. How the f you playing him on the West Coast, man? Oh, what man. kind of nigga is you? Oh, dog, I don't control this, man. It's just this is what I'm told to play. You know, I'm from L.A. I wouldn't, I wouldn't play it if yeah, I was. You got you to gotta speak for you, though. You got to tell I, your boss. And it's I, a different culture with this shit. I told you. We'll be playing that shit over here on this. Hey, if we, come on, man. Hey, I feel you, you man. You're going to get some shit popped off. Oh, come on, man. It ain't that deep. I don't think it's that deep. But I man, feel you, though, you better man. keep that nigga on fire on the West, nigga. Oh, God in heaven. Okay, I'll let them know. <laughs> All right, so. let's. <laughs> damn. <laughs> you better keep that nigga off the air in the West. Hey, you go get some popped off, man. Hey, I'm trying to tell you, Drake is playing in a dangerous environment. Most of these people, they brains ain't wrapped too tight. They're caught in an environment that they wow. So in their mindset, this is it. They brain go like, and that's it. They ready to go to war for nothing. They fight over nothing every day. What is it for them? What they life gonna be like if they not whooping your ass? How they life gonna change? It don't change one bit. They will still enjoy kicking your ass. Somebody's like, please show that. 
Drake dance 10 years from now. Please show me that again. <laughs> Please show me Drake from the future. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. Y'all, y'all bad, man. Please show me that. I can't get over that. <laughs> I need to see Drake from the future again. <laughs> All right, man. There you go. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, look at it. I love Link. Yeah. That good on Link. You would think. <laughs> that Drake, baby. Yeah. That Drake 10 years from now in the future. Look at it. You used to call me on the cell phone. Yeah. Now I don't get no jobs. Yeah, look at him. Yeah, he all ready to go. Go ahead, Fat Drake. Go ahead and get it. Yeah, go ahead, Fat Drizzy. <laughs> what is the brains? That's Drake 10 years from now, baby. He going to be in that boxing ring in <laughs> some gym getting it in. Look at it. I got the people out there like, go ahead, Drake. Yeah, man, look, Fat Drake gonna be <laughs> them BBL's money gonna run out. <laughs> he gonna be out there in the ring. <laughs> man, look, it is what it is at this point, man. It's just damn, <laughs> damn. Damn and damn. I'm out, man. Damn. <laughs> hey, don't forget to hit the like button, man. Go to the Car Casino for Life Patreon. You will see more Fat Drake. We go. <laughs> this is the mild version. You know, we, we keep things mild over here and respectful for the YouTube viewers. Uh Patreon, I ain't got to be mild at all. I can do exactly what I, God intended for this to be like. So I'm out. Thank y'all. Goodbye. Oh, man. Shouts out to Kwame Brown Bus Life. Welcome to HDII TV. Jag Sports with Jose Rodriguez and Armando Black TV.